Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. Thanks for being here today. Got a fun topic for you today and uh, it's going to be a little controversial, I'm sure, and we'll get lots of comments on this, but I just want to put it out there because I think for enough women in our community, it's something that is of interest and it is of interest to me. Not perhaps for the words I'm going to use, but for what's behind it. So today I want to talk to you about feeling sexy. Feeling sexy in your 60s. Now, a lot of women say, okay, I'm switching off. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to talk about exercising and looking young and all that kind of stuff. And it's not the case at all. I just think, well, when I started to record this video, I, th I thought to myself, what am I, what am I going to say? What, what, how am I going to position this? And I did actually go back to an article written by Carol Wire, one of our bloggers, and she wrote this seven fun ways to feel sexy at 60. And she is a, a fabulous woman and she's a, you know, stand-up comedian and all kinds of, you know, she's got a very, um, oh, I don't know, irreverent kind of attitude to, to it all, but fun, very fun. And I thought, well, how do I temper that just a little bit? Because we're not stand-up comedians and we're not as outgoing perhaps as Carol is. But I think there's some truth here that for us to investigate. And the first thing is, what is sexy? You know, when I think about what does it mean to be or look sexy? And the first thing you think of is that it's going to attract someone to you physically and, you know, that you, they will want to have sex with you. That's kind of, you know, that's what, what, isn't that what we think about when we're younger? But when I thought about it myself, it wasn't, you know, and, and, and I thought about the, the changing view of beauty and, and sexuality as we get older. We definitely have a lot of stereotypes to, you know, to, to consider. And I think that true for me, true, I've got light in my face, little glows following me around, I'll sit back, um, that for me to feel sexy means to feel confident. It, and when you think about the word sexy or sexual, it's attractive, it's intriguing, it's something that someone's interested in you. They think that there's something, there's a chemistry that's magical. And I don't think it necessarily has at all to do with what you do, but what you are. And that's to me kind of the topic that I want to have today and whether you think it's important to feel sexy after 60 and what that really means for you. Now, Carol has some ideas on this and she says that, of course, for her, it's, it makes people more uh, approachable to you. They, make, they, they feel like they can reach out to you. They can connect with you. They feel interested in you, like, like I was saying. But it's not about this, the sexual act. It's about um, feeling energized and feeling, you know, kind of inspired and curious about who you are and what you do. So I think that if you take that lens and you think about sex when you get oh, sexy as you get older, being something that is more to do with your the, the aura that you present to the world, the, the curiosity that you, ins, that you, um, in, you know, engender in people, that that is, well, you know, what's important. Do you think so? Am I off on a tangent here? I mean, is this making any sense at all to you? Does it, does it ring a bell or sound interesting? Well, the, Carol comes up with six different ways to feel sexy after 60. And she does talk a little bit when she's uh, in, the, in her article, which I'll leave the link below, about, um, you know, looking younger. She does talk about that a lot. And I think that maybe that is part of this that we, you know, we've inside. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I feel, I don't feel 60, I don't feel 72, which is what I am. And so looking on the outside, like I feel on the inside is important to me. And I don't feel 50, I don't feel 50 or 40, but I don't feel it as an old person. So maybe that's the same with you. And so looking younger, doing things that are, you know, that may be more associated with younger people does make you feel more confident about yourself. So I think that's not a bad thing. I think that's okay. You don't want to look younger by pasting, you know, a lot of makeup on you or making yourself, you know, dress in clothing that maybe doesn't suit your, your body shape anymore. But I think it's it's kind of fun to, to think about it in that way. So what are some of the things that Carol suggests? Okay, first thing is belly dancing. Who does belly dancing? I studied belly dancing years ago. I studied Indian dance. I was I loved uh, Indian Bharatanatyam, and I studied. Um, you know, and it's so so sensual and fun. Sensual in the sense that you feel your senses, you feel your body, you move, you just feel like you're. And especially with your stomach when you're doing belly dancing. I'm belly dancing here on my chair. <laughs> You know, it's like, it's just such a fun uh, dance to do. And you'll stand taller and straighter. Your belly will start to pull in. And so belly dancing, try it. Why not? And maybe someone out there has done it. And there are some really cool classes online too. You can take a belly dancing class. So it's not like something you have to really search out. It's, you know, lots of people are doing it and it's fun. And it's fun with other women. I think on Udemy, actually, there's even a course on the Udemy platform, which is like all about, you know, history and architecture and chemical engineering. They also have a belly dancing class. So the other one is kind of related and that's do a burlesque class. 
you know, just yeah, taking off your clothes. And she's got some really fun ideas about that. You know, it's it's fun, it's silly, it's something new, but just do it. And there's a woman, actually, I, I did a little search online because she didn't leave any of these links, but I went to look myself. And there's one called Arabesque Burlesque, great name. Um, and she's an older woman and she does belly de or she does um, burlesque. And it's all about, you know, the sort of slowness of the movement, taking off your clothes, connecting with your inner burlesque diva, she says. And it's, it's fun, you know, so why not try that? I mean, anything that's going to start to make you feel your body. I think we, as we get older, we start to think, well, we don't look young and pretty anymore. So we're kind of hiding things, you know, hiding the wrinkles, hiding the, uh, the fine lines. But why not? Just let them, let them be. And then let, let that glow come out that is you. The other thing is, um, oh yeah, it's all school glamour. And she has all the scarves and the things you can, you know, you can wear. Really, really fun. Another one that Carol recommends, because she does it, is stand-up comedy. Now, I would, I don't know. I mean, I've spoken in front of groups, of course, but I never would, I don't think, want to do comedy. I don't, I don't think I'm capable of remembering a joke, for one thing. I just don't remember the punchlines. But she said, you know, look, it's an, it boosts confidence getting up in front of people. And there's courses on how you can do this. You know, how you can get, you know, just become a stand-up comedian. Just practice with your friends, your grandkids. Tell them jokes. <laughs> They will love it. It's really fun. I hope the glow isn't getting to you here. I'm, I'm conscious that there's all beams of light coming on my nose and on my <laughs> all around me. Anyway, invest in a good eyebrow kit. I, I know. Thank you for all the people that constantly comment on how awful my eyebrows are. But, you know, I, I, these are what I was born with. I can't really help it. And so I'm, I'm happy with that I've got eyebrows. I'm happy that I have a body. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that's another thing, but flatter, thicker eyelashes or eyebrows are supposed to be more attractive and more youthful. Of course, you've got more eyebrows, but uh, the transformation that you can make with your eyebrows is really dramatic. So why not try that? Also mascara. I've got mascara on today. I've got my favorite Joa <laughs> mascara. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it really helps to uh, thicken the eyebrow, eyelashes and make you, well, all these things that you had when you were younger, thick eyelashes, remember those? But another thing she talks about is the color. I always wear black, but she said that youthful eyes, or older eyes are, look better and more youthful when you use blue or purple. I had a purple one once and I, I do remember that being nice. You don't look purple. It's just that little different tone on your skin. So that's one thing. Um, she has lists some other things that are a little bit... I don't know, they're cookie fun, but she says, for example, wear red underwear. I don't think I've ever owned anything red that I wear under my clothes, but she said, apparently it makes you feel very sensual to wear. I wear pink, I wear pink underwear, <laughs> too much information, but um, no, but you know, pink is okay. You can wear pink, but red is, she suggests, try red. <laughs> You'll really like it, apparently. Laugh a lot. That's one she spends quite a bit of time on. Of course, as a comedian, that is important to her. And she lists all the things that um, that you can get from um, from laughter. Uh, releases tension, releases pain, boosts memory, uh, helps with blood pressure, helps protect your heart, <laughs> gives a great abdominal workout. Um, so laugh, you know, laughing. And I always um, love children with laughing. I, I, you know, I like many of you have grandchildren and you know, when you tell them a joke that they really, really like, and then they laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. It's like, whatever. And you, and their little faces just completely light up and you can't, you just have to laugh with them. It's just, it's contagious. So laughing, that's, an, that's something else she suggests. And what else does she say? It looks good. Or if it releases tension. Oh, it increases T cells apparently to laugh. So anyway, think up some jokes and, and tell them to, just tell them to your dog. <laughs> Talk to your pets. That's always a good thing too. But anyway, for many people, this is not important. You know, looking sexy, feeling sexy in your 60s is not important. But I think if you take it away from the physical connection to someone, you know, the sex act, and you put it more towards the the joyful youthfulness and fun of your inner woman, that is where it, that, that's where the beauty lies. And that's where you start to feel, sen maybe sensual is a better word, but sexy is a good word because it's, it's, it's powerful and it drives us. And it, it um, you know, it's part of our DNA to want that kind of attraction, to connect with people. And I say, I, whatever you think, I think it's a kind of fun exercise to consider that it's about confidence. It's about who you are rather than what you do. And you never know, it might lead to the, what you do as well. And that's, and that's okay. I mean, that's something that a lot of women over 60, you know, still are enjoying and loving with a, with a partner, a friend, whoever. It's just, there's no rules anymore just yours. <laughs> Stop 
following everybody else's rules. So oh, the other thing she mentions, which is a true, which is true actually, is that we don't need to look sexy for ourselves. We are actually a role model for younger women too. And I know that a lot of younger women are here in our 60 and me community, younger being 40, 50, and they are some younger, but they, they really like the role model of a 60 year old woman who feels a little sexy and um, attractive. And that's okay, even if you're not. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all have mirrors. We can all see what we really look like. But, um, you know, just be yourself. Be your beautiful self. So let us know what you think about this. Do you feel sexy at 60? Leave your comments in the section below. Let's talk. And uh, this is by no means, a, uh, you know, sort of any kind of lecture about, you know, wanting to look younger or more beautiful or whatever. But I'd love to get your feedback in your comments. And if you like this video, there's another 2,000 of them that you can watch <laughs> on our YouTube channel every topic under the sun related to older women and we'd love to have you subscribe to the channel and join our our family here it's a, it's a great group of women and if you want to join a more private group then we also have our patreon supporters group which we do exclusive videos and live shows and all kinds of things just for a smaller more private group but you're welcome to join that too okay everybody well take good care of yourselves have a fabulous day stay sexy and well and we'll talk again very very soon bye-bye for now